All right, I'm in at Goodwill. I just wanted to show you these because the prob somebody will probably grab them by the time I get to video this aisle. But this is an adorable primitive Noah's Ark for $5.86. The door opens, the bottom opens on it. I don't know if it's meant to be a birdhouse. It might be meant to be a birdhouse. Whoops, but that is very cute. And we also have this very large wood truck down here. So I just wanted to show them to you before somebody grabbed them. Um, because it's very possible that some of this stuff is grabbed before I get here. And then that oval with the trees in it. Okay, I will be back, but I am in. It's cold, but I made it. Alright guys, we're over here with the fabric and s curtains and stuff like that. Um, here is a pink crocheted afghan for $1.99. There's another one. I think there's another one in the other section. Here is a Mickey Mouse pillow, brand new. Mickey Mouse wearing antlers. He's $2.99. Let me turn the camera sideways for that. Look how cute that is. Little cat in the witch feet. Isn't that adorable? Love it, love it, love it. Uh, I'm trying to find some unique fabric here. There's some uh, carpets. I love that though. That is really cute. Too bad it's so far after Halloween. All right, let's go to the next one over here before the music starts because it's loud over here. And um, this is sort of a tie-dye look. And we have fabric over here. Oh, that's a cool hassock thing. Um, here's some with skull and crossbones on it. And then we have another afghan there. And these are cute. They're only $1.99 each. This is Twas the Night Before Grinchmas, a Dr. Seuss pillow. Still brand new. Still brand new. $24.99 price tag. And then we have another one here. And this one is It Wouldn't Be Christmas Without Me. And that one is $1.99 as well. Very cute. Ooh, those are kind of nice boho -y ones. I like those. They have the stitching, like cruel stitching on them. Okay, I think that's it for over here. I don't really see anything else of uh, interest. What is that? It's a puppy dog. Seashells. Uh, beautiful teal pillow. Okay, that's it over here. Alright, we're quickly going to go through the art and see what's here. Uh, ooh, that's a cool painting. That's it. Is that an actual painting? That's an actual painting. That's very um, powerful. Something young. That is very powerful. That person just standing there. The sun's going down and they have their shadow behind them. Isn't that cool? That's really pretty. Let's see how much that is. Let's move that over there. That is $7.09 for that. That's cool. Nice colors. Very nice colors. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, dinosaur. Palm trees. Love served fresh daily. I hope they bring more pictures out. These are those foil pictures. Sorry. Those, like, the metallic pictures. They're $1.09 each. There's three of those. Pretty scenes. We have a nice church picture down here. Wow, this is empty. Nice church picture. Very pretty for winter time. And they must have... They must have pulled a lot. My windows aren't dirty. That's my dog's nose art. <laughs> In case some of you um, might be new here and noticing that I grab stuff and put it in my cart first and then like you don't see me pulling it from the shelf. Um, it is because it gets super busy here and it's like cutthroat here and you have to get the stuff right away. So that's why I grab stuff right away. I don't have time to stop and film it as I'm grabbing it because once those doors open, people just come in here and bombard the place. So that's why a lot of times you don't see me actually picking up the items. I grab them ahead of time. I do a once over really quick and then I show you the aisles. So that is why I have to do that because <laughs> I am here after all the good items to resell. So, um, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like, hit the notification bell, set it to all so you don't miss anything. And also pin to the first comment under every one of my third thrifting videos is a playlist. Just click on it and it'll take you through all of my thrift with me videos. And I'm telling you, go back in time and you'll see a lot of great things I used to get here. All right, moving on. 
So this is a neat vase. It's got some weight to it. Um, I like the design, the swivel at the bottom. It's pretty heavy. Let me see if I can show it to you here. Look at that. See the 3D swivel in there? That's kind of cool. I'm going to put that in the cart. This is really nice too, but it's broken and they want $9.99. It's a teapot, but look at the size of this thing. It's all pottery. It's beautiful. Just wanted to share. Okay, we're here in the plates and the dishes and such. These are nice. Better Homes and Garden. Those have a cute print on them. Let's see what we have. Anything brought here that's interesting? Oh, look, there's a matching set. There's the platter and the bowls. Bowls are $5.09. And the platter is, this is um, Anchor Hawking. Platter's $2.09. And it's not the color of the day. They do have wear on them as well, so we're not going to worry about those. Still a bunch of Christmas plates. Nice platter with um, seashells on it. And I still love that pattern. That's Studio Nova, Studio Nova pattern. And what is this? These are all different color borders on them. These are block. Block what? Block spall? I don't know. They're pretty though. 309 for four of them. I guess they're all different designs. They have different color borders on them. And now let's see. Um, I don't really, the music is so darn loud in here. I love these anchor, oh that one's been well loved, but I love the color of it, really nice. Not seeing much, a little camping theme bowls here, what does this one say? Enjoy the little things because one day you might look back and realize those were the big things. Absolutely. You know what, it's only 69 cents, we're going to grab that. That's too cute. It's not ceramic, but wisteria plates still here. Unbelievable. That looks like it might be a temptation, so we're not going to worry about that. And what else do we have here? Transferware. These are nice. Are these Fiesta? I don't know if these are Fiesta or not. I'm going to put them in the cart and see. And some Corel. Here's the Ten Commandments on the clay. A plaque that's kind of cool and that's it over here not seeing much else and then we have the pans and the pots and the various containers and such here there's a shaker 209 for the shaker I got one last week that uh, that's red glass Okay, these are the lids, and wow, not much silverware. This used to be filled with silverware, and I don't see much silverware. It's, maybe they're not uh, keeping it anymore, because it's usually filled to capacity. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we're here in the miscellaneous aisle. Again, pretty empty for some reason. It's not even toward the end of the month yet, which is very strange. Nerds nail polish. Huh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Music is very... Oh, look at the pig corn holders. How cute. Set of four. We might get that. We'll check it out. I'm trying to talk over the uh, music, guys. Uh, cookie cutters are still here. We got a Santa with a bunch of fruit on them. And let's move on. There's some fake fruit. We got kiwis and peas and peppers and all sorts of stuff 409 for that if you like that kind of thing uh well that's a pretty picture frame the Mikasa for 309 a snowman uh, what is this stuff here some kind of i don't know if they're banners or bags or what i have no idea white saber boxes those are kind of cute we're having a party we have a wreath here and well that's nice it's a candle holder it's like a candle ring oh lemons moved we got some beautiful christmas ornaments here 19 piece those are nice 
Let's see how much that is. Three oh nine for that. A little too late for me to pick those up. They probably wouldn't make it till next year. Tree topper. Some red balls, balls, balls. We have a St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Are you a bank? I don't know what he is. No, he's just a figurine. He's a large figurine. We have a little topiary tree back there. And then we have, I forget who makes these, but this is a dollar nine. I forget the maker. What is the maker of these? The tree isn't the only thing getting lit this year. <laughs> That's pretty cute. All right, so I think we are done uh, over here. I don't see much else. All right, we're here in the metal. There's some canisters here and some tumblers and let's see what else is here oh he's cute i think he's a wine bottle holder and he's a, a reindeer oh look at look what i found wine stoppers with paw prints on them all right there now i have some now i have some those are mine what is this thing the pampered chef uh i guess it's a replacement handle to something that could be something, but... Oh, I forget what kind of pastries you do with these, those cookies. That's a neat mold right there. That could be older. I'm not sure. We have an N. And some Christmas stuff. Some more travel mugs. What is this? That's got a constellation on it. That's for Virgo. Is that Ray Dunn? That's Ray Dunn. We'll get that. I'll have to check out the condition of it. I do have some stuff here that I have to uh, go through and see what I need and what I don't need and check conditions and everything. That's a nice little shelf for 309. Nice little uh, cottage core looking. Isn't that cute? I like that. It's got the wicker shelf, wicker. And I think this is the lid to a box, some kind of a box. Uh, hand painted looks vintage but um, I don't see the rest of it here so that will be staying um, what else we have some stocking hangers we have a coffee press this is pretty is this yeah that's plastic it's a pretty seahorse and that is 109 what else do we have here we have some silver plate trays down there and some bookends and a bowl and a teapot and some more miscellaneous stuff and that would be it for the metal so let's look at the mugs here and the cups and the glasses and all that good stuff uh, let me see no that is not okay so the oh that's a pretty k glass with the silver on it this is neat this says jimmy buffett the sleepless nights that's interesting i don't know if that's broken or if it's just got schmutz on it can you guys see that it's very hard to show it but i'll put that in the cart um i know these are worth money the whole set and everything i looked at all four of these and they're marked france none of them are priced so we're gonna leave them there and let's see what else we have we have what is this these are little like mini shots i don't know and costa costa rica mug is still here we have some cute polka dot oh these have oh these are the ones with the flamingos on them yes with the christmas flamingos on them and i don't see anything else we'll move forward and take a peek Crawfish Bell. I thought I just grabbed one of these. All right, we're going to grab another one. We're going to grab another one. Ooh, that's old, 1961. I grabbed a couple crawfish theme ones. And what else do we have? What else do we have hiding here? There's that pig. He's been here for months. He used to have a pizza that would come out of his belly. But now the pizza's gone and he's back again. That's cool. That's cool. A little shot glass. 
What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Wifey. I don't know who makes that. Perimeter insurance. Margarita's still here. Wish I knew a margarita. I'd pick it up. These are cute little bowls. For $3.09. These are cute for... Use them for sauces. Those would be great. Got some gravy boats down there. St. Louis is still there. It's so pretty. This. Nothing. And then I'll check these out. That's a cute little creamer. It's a cute creamer. Wish it had the matching sugar. I don't see anything hidden in the back here. And then we have the ones up here, but I didn't see any that interested me. What is this? It's got a D on it. I think. I'll check that in a minute. But I looked at these and I didn't really see any offhand, so I think we're going to move on. Okay. So I just found this unassuming piece on the shelf and it is a Starbucks cup and it does have a hopefully that's the right, I don't even know if it's yeah, it must go with it. A little Starbucks cup. No handle. It's a pretty cool design. Alright, let's go made it to the mishmash here's a tape gun i hate using these 209 for the tape gun i don't know i just like doing it the way that i do it i don't think i really need one more file folders we've got some brenda har right off the bat some red brenda har eric carl the world of eric carl busy book He's the one that does the Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, look at the little characters in there. Let's see, how much are you? 151? Yes, we'll get you. That is adorable. It's got the characters from the stories. We have these um, binders. What is this? Oh, this is a makeup brush set. Let's check that out. Beauty set. That's also good for doing crafts, too, and painting, doing different... Uh, things on there and that is 609 Macbeth collection interesting we have a box we have training pads for pets and diapers for pets more binders these are pretty these pine cone glass pine cone ornaments but I'm not getting any more ornaments I'm glad some of them are still selling out of my booth even after Christmas so uh, less I have to bring back for the next year. And let's see what else we have. We have a ball return. Everybody needs a ball return in case you lose your balls. Nice little plaid basket. Uh, some Easter eggs. Let me put this up here for now and see what's in here. Um, not much. Happy New Year! Flash cards. Uh, goodbye, little ones. Oh, that sounds kind of bizarre. Another mask. I don't know what it is. Cards. Journals. Safety handle locks. What is this? It's some kind of a decor. We have more flash cards in here. Wall plates. A UB slow cooker liners. You never know what you're going to find here, guys. I'm not going to dig today. I don't feel like getting yuck all over my hands. Um, more Brenda Har. The icicles are out of the package now. More Brenda Har. Uh, iPad cover. More Har. More Brenda Har. And, oh, look at all the pipe cleaners. Oh, my. Look at all the pipe cleaners for $209. My cats would have a field day with these. That is a great price for them. But I'd be picking them up all over the house. I don't know. That is a good price, though. See, I have a dilemma. Like, I don't need these, but for that price, you can't go wrong. I'll think about it. I'll throw them in the cart. I'm a sucker for some things. And we have more binders and photo albums here. Some mesh. A coloring roll. And 
coloring stickers and temporary tattoos for kids. Some more scrapbooking stuff. Umbrella picks. Everybody needs umbrella picks in their life. Glitter glue. Woohoo! For glitter glue. And more Brenda Har. What are these? Are these little bottles. These are little like test tube bottle. I don't know. Not getting those. Not getting those. What is this? Something that takes batteries. Oh, clear round balloon with clear lights. Okay. Bicycle tubes. And a few patterns, some paint. And that's about it over here. A thing for your pills. Stay clean technology. I don't know what that is for. Titanium cube coconut coals. The world's finest coal for the perfect hookah experience. Well, there you go. Somebody will grab that. A couple lunch boxes. More filters. We have a bag of ribbon. And that looks like it over here. So we are done here. Purses are, pur purses are pretty much wiped out. Nothing standing out. There's a juicy couture bag right there. This is a cool purse. It's iridescent. Um, it's broken though. Somebody yanked on it. I don't know if it's old or not, but I don't care. Oh, that one's in bad shape. The pleather's all torn apart. And uh, what is this one? Another juicy couture pink one, but it's got all sorts of stuff all over it. Black scuffing and everything. What is this one? Uh, Liz Claiborne. Mm, it's pretty empty. It's pretty empty here toward the end. Maybe they're going to start moving them all back up front and putting the backpacks and stuff back here for the winter. All right, that's it for the purses back here. Okay, not much in the plush aisle here. It's kind of wiped out. I did grab a couple things. I grabbed a large Yoshi and not seeing i think i grabbed a puppet too i forget but i'm not seeing anything else spectacular here so there's another one of those like a lovey blanket this is a kelly toy one and how much is it 309 okay we'll leave that behind that's disney i don't know that disney rabbit if you do let me know in the comments there's a little kitty cat for Valentine's Day. Uh, there's a toy that's got its... Oh, wow. Okay. I guess they tried repairing the leg. <laughs> it's all apart. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, here's one of these uh, For Real Pets dragons, but he is a little bit worse for the wear, so we're going to leave him. He looks a little beat up. And what is this? Oh, that's I think that's a hammock for a cat or a ferret or something. We have red cat. No, it's a dog. Ooh, it's a big old red bulldog. Oh my goodness. Narwhal. There's a narwhal over there. Hanging out, taking a nap. And a poodle. And what else do we have here? Not much. Not much, not much, guys. I'm lucky I got the couple pieces I did. Let's see what other areas I forgot to show you. Alright, we made it to the wood aisle. And there's some interesting things. There's a bread box here. Um, the Noah's Ark is gone, just like I predicted. I thought that would be gone. It's, it was so cute. I'm glad I got to show you guys in the beginning. Because that was adorable. And uh, let's see what this is. I don't know what that is. Maybe a clip-on shelf. I don't know. Truck is still here, though. They didn't want the truck. And, uh... Oh, it's right there. It's still there. I can't believe nobody grabbed it. That's crazy. How can that still be here? It's so cute. It's a nice wood CD uh, rack with a brass top on it. That's really nicely made. That's nice. All right, and we have not much, not much here. This is for an earring display and some signs, Winter Wonderland. And what is this? Clock? 
It is a clock. It's a spinny clock. We got a wine bottle holder, but the clasp is broken on it. A primitive type shelf. And not much. Not much. Dance hall queen. What is this? This looks bizarre. This looks really bizarre. I'm going to look into this. This looks weird. All right. I'm going to see if that's worth anything, too. That's it for here. All right, we're here in the knickknacks. We have a cheese cutter there. We have a red vase. Mason jars are still here. Uh, I looked this up. This is Peck Sniffs England Peony and Sweet William Luxury Bath Soap made in England. It's a beautiful glass bottle. They want $2.69 here. It retails for about $25. That's a good deal for somebody. Here's a cute little stainless steel flask. That's neat. I don't know if anybody needs... You know, I'll grab it anyway, right? Why not? Why not? Um, some more bottles up here. And then we have two brass fan wall decor. We have the larger one. They're flimsy. They're not as nice as the older ones. And then this one is slightly smaller. That's pretty cool. So we have that. We have a fish. I thought it was um, handmade art pottery, but it's mass produced. So we're not going to get that. There are some champagne flutes back there. Here's more fruit. Somebody opened a fruit bag. Here's some bowls with some rocks. Pumpkin is still here. There's a pea stone. Very cute. There's a water glow back there. Some more mason jars, some coasters, a boo bucket. Your love never fails sign, a little glass sign. These are kind of neat. They look like they might be aluminum. Little leaf dishes. They're $1.89 each. A little Santa looks like he's made out of dough. We have a butter dish. Is this Ray Dunn? This could be. I don't know. Or it's made to look like it. We'll have to see. Okay, and we have, oh, I don't see what else we have. Oh, this is cute. This is a Winnie the Pooh um, candle topper, Disney. That's very cute. That's just too big for me to have and to worry about selling, though, but that's a great deal for 309 Here's a cute um, spun glass peacock, but as you see, his tail is all broken up, unfortunately. That's a neat bottle with that lid on it. I like the fancy lids like that. This is nice. Let's see how it's got the grapes on it. I don't really pick up the grape stuff. We got more coasters with grapes. More jars. Hopefully somebody will pick that up. It's probably a great deal for the Disney. It's a nice blue bottle, but it's flashed. There's a one-gallon jug, but they cut the top, cut it like in half or something. That's weird. Um, what else do we have? I haven't come across anything with the sale tags on it yet. What's in here? What's in this? Is there anything in this? Is it a secret? Oh, uh, it's a little spoon. It's a little spoon for 209. There's a little soldier. That's kind of neat with the fake flame, the candle on the pillar, candle on the stand. This is still here. This has been here a while. It's broken on the ends. It's art pottery. It's been floating around here for quite some time. We have a faux succulent. I don't know what that is. What is this? I don't know what it is. Don't want to know. I'm not going to take it out of the package. Some ramekins. We've got a nice pair of tongs here. Oh, cool. For $1.09. We have a toy. We have a pineapple back there. Here's an owl that needs to be painted. He's kind of cute. He's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. He is kind of cute. There's a Santa teapot. The penguin is still here. We have some angels. Uh, these are nice. They're nice. They're fancy schmancy. I don't know who makes them. And we have a business card holder. It's a nice business card holder. It's a cute little wooden box with a glass top. 
409. Let's move that down here. What is this? This is, uh, oh, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton primaries for the Democratic nomination January 3rd to June 3rd, 2008. Okay, somebody collects that stuff. I don't. So that's going to stay here. Looking for the hidden stuff still. Looking for the hidden stuff. Tusca Baby? Don't know what that is. Oh, and that creepy doll is still here. There's a Coca-Cola plate down there. The Coca-Cola polar bears. Not my thing either. And I think that's it for here. We have Jamaica. And a nice pottery. I guess it would be a planter. And let me look back this way and make sure I didn't miss anything. Because when you look at a different angle, you see different things. No. Okay, let's look at the other side. All right, not seeing much here. Some of the same stuff. There's a palm tree. Those are for your tank. And we have some little cups and vases and jars. A little Easter bun, uh, not a bunny, Easter chick covered dish there. The blue thing is still here because I don't know what to do with it. This looks like a piece of art pottery. Let's see if it's mass produced or it's not signed. It's a cool piece though. It's a neat piece. I still like these. This is the only one that's left. There were several of them here. Those are for candles. And. The phone is still here. The cordless phone is still here. Those are still here. Those are pretty hard trinket dish, but it looks like it's missing something off the top. Those are cool. Wine bottles are still here. And again, guys, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like. Hit the notification bell and set it to all. And also pin to the top comment under every one of my Thrift With Me videos is a playlist. It's a link that you click on. And it's a playlist of all my Thrift With Me videos. Go see some of the older stuff. You won't be sorry. There's some cool, big banging finds I would get here. Um, also, question of the day. What something from your past or your childhood would you wish you had now or would like to get again? Like to have in your life again? Some item. It could be a toy. It could be something from your grandma's kitchen. What would it be from your childhood, something from your childhood that you would love to have again, that you would love to find and have again? Okay, we're done over here. All right, I checked out the scarves here. I didn't see anything I really liked over here on this rack, but um, this is pretty. It's like a crepe fabric, and it's like ombre, the brown into the blue. It's pretty. I'm not crazy about it, but I think I'd have more of a chance of selling this. This is all sugar skulls on this one so we're gonna pick that one up and this one is kind of cute but it's too small I like getting the bigger ones all right let me go to the hats okay I'm checking out the hats a lot of straw hats and the ones that look like they could be wool are actually poly blend so I'm not getting those for her can't get them every week you know can't find them every week so uh Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a bunch of hats, so I'm going to check these out. And then um, I'll check out the belts, I think. And I didn't find anything for the t-shirts, so let me check this stuff. All right, I'm here looking at the belts. And uh, is this one too? Yes, there are three Brighton belts here, at least three. But they have wear discoloration to them. That's one of them. This one I really liked here. And then there's this one, but it has a lot of wear to the metal, discoloration to the plating on it. That's unfortunate. This one is really nice. This one might be saveable, um, but they are $2.99 each. I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay, I got this frog, but he's $3.09, so I'm going to put him back. He looks like a candle burner. I guess the light comes through there. He's kind of cool. I don't know. Um... I thought these were, I thought these were free at Fiesta, but they're not salt and pepper shakers. So I'm gonna put them back. I'm gonna put this little tin box back. Not that crazy about it. And thinking about the corn holders, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put the 
pipe cleaner's back too. I'll be back. I don't know if I showed this before, but it's a wine glass. And it says, finally, a wine glass that fits my needs. And it's made by Big Mouth Incorporated. And it is 309, but it is very thin glass. That's kind of cute. Just wanted to share that with you. All right, I'm going to put these back. These are Tube Heroes. They're YouTubers, I think. I don't know. Um, Ashley Marie Gaming, Jerome ASF, Captain Sparkles, and Vicstar123. I thought they'd be worth something, but they're really not. They're still cute, but uh, they're, they're not really worth anything. So I'm going to put them back. And I'm putting a couple other things back, and then we'll do a recap. So they just put this out. It's $6.09. I'd get 25% off of it. That'd be cool for my booth if I had room to put it, but I don't. Um, it is kind of rickety too, so it's nice though. Maybe people could put shoes on it or something, but that's a, that's a pretty cool piece. Cool for uh, utilizing at home. That's 209 for that, for the votive burner. It's got that inlaid piece of wood that goes through there. That's kind of neat. I like that. All right, we're going to do the recap in a few minutes. Oh, yeah, I'm putting the Pandora box away. I'm putting it back because it's got some discoloring on it. And the zippers are really tight. It's really hard to close. And, um, yeah, it's the zippers messed up on it. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to put that back as well. Okay. And the Mandalorians, I'm getting the shot glasses. They're holiday shot glasses. They're cute, but I'm going to leave them here for somebody else. This is huge. It has two spouts on it. You can see how big it is. I don't know how much it is. I'm not touching it. Um, and I just want to show you a couple more Ray Dunn pieces here. We have Believe. It's a huge lantern. And it's 709. Way too big for me. And I think there was another piece here somewhere. Or maybe it was on another shelf. Um, then we have a sugar and creamer, which are really cute here they're 209 each and then we have uh here's the other ray down dark chocolate it's a dark chocolate container and then we have but first milk and that's 209 and i'm gonna put this adorable bunny back i'm sure somebody will grab him by the end of the day he is very cute but i don't need to get him he's too big all right let's do a quick recap i'm getting the pig corn holders I am getting the frog tea light holder burner. I'm getting the little crawfish uh, salt and pepper shakers. I'm getting this really pretty blue cobalt blue vase. Looks like it might be Polish. It's got the bubble at the bottom. That's very pretty. Um, getting this Harry Potter golden snitch game. Hopefully all the cards are there. Hot paws. I think he's a bulldog. Um, oven knit. And we have this piece says, When prayers go up, blessings come down. It looks a little Celtic. It's pottery. I'm going to get the little flask. Why not? Stainless steel flask. Okay. Let's go around here and I'll show you what else I got. I got another paw, paw impression kit, but you can use it for just about anything. I'm getting the Sugar Skull Scarf. That should go quickly. I'm getting the Eric World of Eric Carl. And it is the book with the figurines in it. Hopefully they're all there. Then we're going to get a Robot Hand Kit. Since everybody likes the kits that I get. Um, getting this mug. It's got a lid on it. It's ceramic. It's really cool. We're going to get this huge... Huge Yoshi plush. I love them. Putting that. Um, I'm getting two Brighton belts. They're not that bad looking, so I'm going to get two of them. I found more. I'm getting the Starbucks mug. Um, this will go to the booth. It's a hand painted uh, crucifix. It's really nice looking. Very fancy looking. All hand painted. I could do some touch up work on it. So I'm getting that. I'm getting the little camper dish with the cute saying on it. I'm getting the 
Jimmy Buffett mug that says Jimmy Buffett, the order of the sleepless nights or something on it. I'm getting the paw print wine bottle stoppers. Um, the Vermont teddy bear with the Vermont teddy bear shirt. Those go pretty well. I do have a couple of these crawfish bell. Look at the crawfish in the dress and the parasol. That's cute. These are vintage. Um, this one's playing. This one's playing the fiddle. And then we have this one here is wearing some kind of outfit. They must be collectible. That looks like a Mardi Gras outfit. Getting a NYPD police department mug. I'm getting this life-size glass head model. So somebody might want to buy it. Um, to put hats on or wigs or whatever or just to display it as a weird glass head. It's very heavy Getting one CD This is a sea turtle puppet. He's very cute A Muppets mug. I don't think there's any damage to it. I'll just double check the handle, but it is a Muppets mug It's got a bunch of guys on there uh, The kissing dog salt and pepper shakers the cactus salt and pepper shakers and the Virgo Ray Dunn and it's got the star constellation there I believe that is everything oh I forgot this too this is gorgeous I love this piece this might end up staying with me I'm not sure and as always please subscribe to my channel hit that like button um, Hit that notification bell, set it to all so you don't miss anything. And again, under every uh, Thrift With Me video is a pinned comment in the top of the comments. And it's got a link. And you click on that link and it's a playlist of all my Thrift With Me videos if you want to binge watch. And again, I can't stress it enough. Check out the older ones. And also, don't forget, I asked that question. So if you guys could answer that question that I asked in today's um, show, if you could uh, reply in the comments. That would be great. And until next time, thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, guys. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot one more thing. Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. I almost forgot. I'm getting this awesome cart. How cool is that? I'm going to try to fill it in my booth somehow and change some stuff around. But I can't leave it behind. So paying up for it a little bit. But it's a really cool piece. And I looked up the comps. So it's uh, worth m way more than what I'm paying for it. But isn't that cute? All right. That's it, guys. Bye. See you next week.